You have mine, there's only one in mine. I have both. Again, fair. Come on along. Men swinging and crowds singing their old, old London love Ladies and gentlemen, I will now recite to you a poem first made famous by Mr. Bransby Williams, since recited on various occasions by Sir John Martin Harvey, Mr. John Gielgud, and myself, The Green Eye of the Little Yellow Dog by Milton Hay. There's a one-eyed yellow idol to the north of Captain Hill. There's a little marble cross below the town. There's a broken-hearted woman tends the grave of Mad Carew. And that yellow god forever lies his down. He's always muscling in. What can you do? He has the sympathy of the public. He was known as Mad Carew by the sons of Catman Do. He was hotter than they felt inclined to tell. But for all his foolish pranks, he was worshipped in the ranks. And the colonel's daughter smiled on him as well. He had loved her all along with the passion of the strong. And that she returned his love was plain to all her. She was nearly 21 and arrangements were begun to celebrate her birthday with a ball. On the night before the dance, Mad Carew seemed in a trance. And they chaffed him as they puffed at their cigars. But for once he failed to smile, and he sat alone a while, then went out into the night beneath the stars. He returned before the dawn. Where's Biddy? With his shirt and tunic. Biddy. <laughs> he better search the pockets, saying that's from Bad Guru. And she found the little green eye of the god. Where is that dog? Time passes. She is now She thought of him and hastened to his room. You keep out of that bar. Tend to your business. We follow this act. She could hear the dreamy air of a waltz tune softly stealing through the gloom. Thank you, sir. His door was open wide with silver moonlight shining through. The place was wet and slippy where she trod. Hey, look at 
Hand it down. Hand it down. Let me go. It's the money. Me. An ugly knife lay buried in the heart of Mad Carew. <laughs> it was the vengeance of the little yellow god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I must ask you to excuse this slight fracas. I do not stand here for my own enjoyment, so I will ask my friend Gentry here to collect any small tribute you may feel inclined to bestow. A golden sovereign being out of the question these cruel hard times, two pence will be always acceptable. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, with your kind permission and attention, a new conception of London's latest song success. Hello, Charlie, how goes it? Let's go. Well, it takes a bit of getting anyway. Yeah, sure, right. I'll be down. Hello, Dobby. Hello. I'll have a coffee, please, Dobby. What with? Oh, I got a sixpence. I got a sixpence. It's a change. And I'll have uh, I have uh, two doorsteps. Doorsteps? Mm. Big slabs of bread and butter. Oh, here. Who are they? That one with a funny hat. He's an American newspaper man. He's showing the Englishman a bit of London. Oh. And the other one? Oh, he's got a smile, hasn't he? What's his wonderful name? His name is Prentice. I think it's Ollie Prentice, the songwriter. Here. You a songwriter? Yes. Ever sold anything? Yes. Who are you? Libby. From Liberty. From the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor. What you do? I'm a dancer, I am. And out of sight. Like to hear me? There's a one-eyed yellow monster to the north of Katmandu. There's a little something cross below the town. There's a broken hearted woman tends the grave of Mad Carew. And a little god forever gazes down. He returned before the dawn with his shirt and trousers torn. And a gash across his temple dripping red. <laughs> he was patched up right away and he slept all through the day. While the colonel's daughter watched beside his bed. Oh. As she crossed the village square she could hear the dreamy air of a woman. Wait, oh, you and me's gonna have a talk. Here, no scrapping here. What's she done to you? What she done or what she not done is my affair, see? Here. Now oh, you look here. Look here. Now look here. What? Well, look here to me. I don't stand for interference, stuff from nobody I don't see. Now look here. What's the trouble here? Just argument. I'll keep it quiet, you see? Sorry, sir. And don't call me sir. Sorry, mate. Doggy, you look after your customers. Right, sir. <laughs> now look here, now, young mate. woman. We've all looked everywhere. Let's just uh, relax and have a cigarette. You smoke? Very kind of you, sir. Have a cup of coffee, please, doggy. Yeah, have it with me. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Cigarette? Don't mind if I do. Give us a light. Yes, yeah, rather. Come on, Harley, let's scram. Now, no passion, please. Just wait till I paid the bill. Take it all from this, will you? Yes. Including the doorsteps and the coffee. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, where are you going to take me to now? I suggest a stroll up Bond Street. Yes, I suggest a taxi. Well, I, uh, I've got to go now. Good night, all. Wait. Allow me to take the, uh, the liberty. <laughs> oh. Th th thank you, sir. Good night, all. Did anyone happen to see what I saw? See what? Good night, all.
sorry to interrupt her rehearsal, but I'll have that cigarette case, please. I'd be obliged if you'd explain what you're talking about. Dramatic, aren't you? It's a good pose. Yes, you've got the right idea, but you keep that for an audience. See, come on, hand it over. Oh, go to... Look out, you're hurting. You don't say. Well, thank God he's got his name in it. After the reward, I see. You've got a nasty, cheap little mind, haven't you? Well, so long. And when the cops get on to all this, don't call on me as a witness to character. Just a minute. Look here, mister, who does this lovely world belong to, eh? To the people who live on it, you say, well, I'm one of them. And I've got just the same taste as all the rest. You'd be surprised. I get hungry. I get thirsty. I get cold. I enjoy smoke in a permanent wave and, and whatever I can get in the way of extras. And why shouldn't I have them? Because you haven't earned them. Anyone ever give me the chance? An orphanage brought me up and got me a job washing dishes. But I cleared out of that in double time, and why? Because it ruins the hands, see? And I've as much right to a manicure as the next. Don't talk foolish. Why not? Why not? Oh, gosh, why not? Can't you answer? There ain't no answer. You're after justice and logic. There ain't no justice and there ain't no logic. The world ain't made that way. Everything's luck, see? And good temper. And if you can take a joke, the whole of life's a joke. A joke? Then it's a joke I can't take, see? I can't take it! I can't take it! I can't take it! Now, 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 now. Hysterics don't help. Don't you touch me! That's the second time you've lent it to me, and I don't like it, see? So stop it, Jeremy, stop it! I'll have the law on you, I will! I'll tell them what you've done to me! Hey. You let me go! Hey. Let me go! Hey. Let me go! Stop it, Jeremy! Stop it! Oops! Come on! Oops! We're buried! This door! This door! There she is! Yeah, what? An heavy tread and a female voice. Ah, you and your voices. Go to sleep and wake the children. Well, through pleasures and palaces, we're swearing all around. We're all right now. The eternal so unborn. Oh, there is no place like it, is there? I'm snug in here. I talk. Maybe you can tell me what I do now. You're so clever. You take the high road, and I'll take the low road. I asked you what I was to do. And I answered, sleep on it. I had to guess when you're done. If not before. I'll consider your problem in the morning. Pleasant dreams, sweet repose. And don't snore, see? I don't snore, see? Well, don't then.
we'll say. Hello. Good morning. Do you want to come in? Hey, who you with last night, pussy? Come on in. in. Hey, don't make a noise. Ma, look at her. Ah, come out of that, you young devil, and don't sit down. Like and I'll thank you to stop Julian from middling into my wireless. Julian, leave that wireless alone and sit down there for your breakfast. Can we begin? To be sure you can. Manners, you wait, my lord, until your father's finished shaving. Ah, let the children have their breakfast, sure they're starving. Morning. Sleep all right? Don't know yet. We'll find out, will you? And you want to wash and brush up? We've had one, haven't we, pussy? Come on downstairs. Go and get the morning milk. Get up. You sit quiet till your brother's done. I am done. You be quiet and wipe your nose. For me, I don't. The kettle's boiling over. Oh, oh turn it out. Turn it out yourself, lazy bones. man do something before. I see a lot of things in the Navy you hadn't seen before. Navy cut? me. What we need now is a table clear. Only Julian. What do you want, Julian? Ma says, have you turned her skirt up yet? Come back now for now, Sally, see. Can I see your little boy? Oh, now he's asleep. Hey, what's the matter? Oh! What are you doing? Come here. Sit with us. Right in the camps all over that place. I want to see your little boy. Off it, Sonny. What did he mean, your little boy? How he means Robert. Lives over there. I used to be a ventriloquist before I took up the classics. Good morning, grandfather. I'm not your grandfather. Lawyer! Charlie's young lady's cut her hand. What young lady? The young lady what he's having breakfast with. Oh, so he's got a woman in his room, has he? Do you mean to say you ever managed to fool an audience with ventriloquists? Oh, they aren't all as smart as you. You're right. Never let anyone fool me yet. Never mind those things. Come on. I'll leave the skirt with Ma on our way. On our way where? Police station. Oh. What's that? Oh, you couldn't be such a rotten sneak. No, I've letting me sleep here and, and giving me breakfast and, and me believing in you. You couldn't. What I do? Now, what's all the excitement? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Aren't you... Aren't you going to turn me in? Can't fool you, can I? Oh, no, you silly little thing. Only going to end it in at the station, like as if we'd found it. Oh. Took you in proper, eh? 
Oh. What did you do it for? No offense, mind you. I thought you needed a lesson. Can't have you constantly pinching cigarette cases, you know. Come on. How long has this woman been here, may I ask? Here? Who are you calling woman? I'll not have it, nor my wife won't have it. And I'll thank you to hand over her skirt. Hey, landy devil, when he's been paid for his work, see? None of it has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me? Poking his long nose into our affairs? Look here, young woman. Look here, old man. Can't have a brawl in front of a lady. A lady. That's what he said, lady. I'll have you eject. Oh, you will. Yeah. Ah. Oh, dear. Oh. 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 Finger on me. <laughs> Sorry. Let me out. Oh. 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 Let me out of here. Let me out. Oh. 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 Let me out. Let me out. Oh. 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 What is it now? The other woman in his room. Oh, yes, oh, yes, but I shall have. Look here, Ma. Have you ever known me do the Don Juan act? No, well, then, what I got in there is my new leading lady. You can blow her trumpet till you're blue in the face. She sings like a robin, she dances a tree. Not over my head, she won't. Ma. Oh. Dear old Ma. Well, maybe. Maybe I could put a room with Wild Tilda until I have a room free. You do that for me, Ma, and I'll give Julian an elocution. How do people teach people lessons? Two. See. I see. <laughs> trouble about education is it comes expensive here yeah. what's that where's my berry now look here going to get my berry now you don't want the berry go away Silly little coat, aren't you? I never did. Come on now, stop it. You're grown up, you are. Got to behave, you know. <laughs> stop arguing me. What's the matter now? I'm sorry I broke your thing. I'm sorry I stole your sixpence. I'm sorry I made a mock of you. I'm sorry, you silly fool. I'm sorry. All right, then, you're sorry. <laughs> now, now, stop it, see? Hey, you cry yourself all puffy. Got a mirror? Got a frying pan? Come here. I don't use that one. I keep it for shaving purposes. Do you see yourself? That's more like it. Oh, like what? More like my leading lady. Leading lady. What do you mean? What I say. I've seen you dance. I've heard you give an imitation of me. I don't mind saying, I consider you promising. We have the experience, you have the temperament. All we want now is the new turn. C H A R L E S. There. I wonder if I did that right. How many peas in Happy? Ah, who cares? Many. Happy returns to Charles. And many of them. No room. Got to put his age. Bag you young gibber. Come over that. What were you doing in there? Take that cake and be off with you. Why, nice lot of children I've got. Holy St. Patrick the State you're in. Come out here. Yeah, come out. Come out. 
Fortune Bay, you young, driven, you hear. And look at the mess you're after getting on your clean pinnacles. I, I don't hold with clean pinnacles. Oh, he'll be in before the cake. Hey. Hey, take it easy, Charles. Hey, hey, here I say. What are you up to? Don't come in till I call, you see. What are you up to in there? Boy, when can I come in? Boy, I'm getting cold out here. Open the door! You can come in now. I should hope so. Many happy returns. I'm not 40, I'm 39. How did you know it was my birthday? I was looking through your papers, found your birth certificate. Oh. Much obliged, I'm sure. On. All right. Here, give it to me. Hold still. Makes me look a bit yellow. You've been looking yellow lately. You haven't had a Saturday off since I've been working with you. Time you had a holiday. So long as you come. I hate and detest the country. I could make you like it. Ever heard the nightingale? Pretty. You must have a Sunday off soon. Or I should like to see your face first time you hear one. Any admittance? Hello. It's my birthday. Oh, oh when you have returned, Charlie. Oh, thank I'm you sure very much, Arthur. I never knew anyone else would have given anyone else the lowdown. If you'd only let Charles get to his own cake. Come on, everybody, sit down. Yay, That's right. Charles. What a cake, eh? What a cake, what a cake, what a cake for Jubilee Terrace. Uh, lovely. I must say. Uh, 40? You? Oh, you're getting a little age, you really are. I ain't 40. I'm 39. <laughs> Not out. <laughs> Come on, boys, now roll the old sleeve up. One, two, three. Hey, cut it careful. You can all sit there looking as stuffed as you like, but it'll be a sensation. I feel it in my bones. Quiet, old boy, but my individuality may be swamped in an ensemble. Nowadays, the individual's washed up. Cooperation, that's the stuff, so I says to myself. There's young Gentry on his own and poor old Arthur on his own. I've got Biddy. Maybe you have got Biddy. But you and Biddy, you're a duet, you ain't a troop. Boy, what I'm feeling after's a troop. Tell them my idea. You tell them. Well, we form a quartet and we do a big production number. Oh. We thought we'd call ourselves the Cooperators. Julian. What about music? Diner. Bicycle made for two. Tipperary. No, no. We the classics. Can't we have something modern, something with a with a swing to it? Oh, tell him your idea. Oh, well, I had thought of a little composition of my own. Oh, you want? La 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 I think we got something there. Right, 
here? What's all this? Is this a respectable front entrance or is it the BBC? They're making a new turn. Well, I won't have it. Here, pass along there, please. Pass along. Doesn't Mr. Saggers live here, Mr. Charles Saggers? He does indeed. Not long he won't if he don't shut his windows. Two, three, four, banana. One, two, three, four, banana. Charles, you ought to be over on this side now. Arthur, give me the guitar and show Charles how to do the step. Gentry, come on. Talk, talk, we'll play. Talk, uh, come on, Charlie, Line. don't lose, Arch. You'll soon get it. It's only a neck. Ready? One, two, two three, four. Uh, one. La da da. Da da. La da 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 Charlie, you're not doing it right. I know I'm not, but I can't do that tatar going that way. Just a minute. Charlie, come here. I want you. There's a gentleman to see you. Carry on. Oh. Oh, uh, why, uh, Mr. Prentice, ain't it? Yes. Who, uh, lost the cigarette case. Oh, well, I'll be bidding you good day. Thank you so much. I'm awfully sorry to break in like this, but I only got back yesterday and I, uh, I found you returned my cigarette case. Just wanted to thank you. Did you wonder at not hearing from him before? Oh, no, no, sir. People don't trouble, gloves and such. I uh, had to leave this address for my uh, bona fides. Oh, yes. Well, now. I'd rather not, sir. I mean, uh, the circumstances. The girl? The girl, sir, don't quite take your meaning. Your cigarette case was found under the counter, sir, after you left. No reason to refuse a reward, is there? Very good of you, sir. I'd rather not, sir. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry too, sir. In fact, uh, I'm only sorry the old thing happened. Come on, Charles. I got new steps. Oh, did you, Eddie? It's all right, Miss Liberty. Uh, oh, pleased to meet you again. I came to thank Mr. Saggers for returning my cigarette case. Oh, had you uh, dropped it? Won't you come in where rehearsing? Mustn't uh, waste Mr. Prentice's time, Libby. It's a pity you didn't bring your journalist friend along. No, no, Libby, Libby. Well, he might have given us a write-up. So might I. What? You don't mean to say you could use an interview. Charles, he wants an interview now to give it to you. Or me. Come on in. Ever since my early childhood, I had an intense desire to express myself. I was still hesitating in which direction to develop my career, but I had the good fortune to meet Mr. Charles Saggers, one of the leading street artists of the day. We joined forces with Mr. Arthur Smith. <laughs> Mr. What's your real name, Gentry? I'd rather not see. Well, anyway, we never looked back. We're hoping to put on a new show at the Hobon Empire next Monday. Monday? I'll be there. Libby, the gentleman don't understand. We're outside, not inside. He knows, but you didn't put that down. Libby, you didn't ought to sit on the arm of that chair. You know it ain't safe. Go on. Miss Liberty. Liberty what? Just Liberty. Like Garbo, see? Looks better on a billboard. First time I've heard of all this. Liberty, as she prefers to be called, will not always be content with the life of the streets. Is that the line? That's the line. My ambition is to dance in every capital in Europe, starting with the Hobart Empire. Wait here, driver, will you? I'll bring them over when they're finished.
night and day You can hear them saying I said I love you Funny. That girl can dance anyway. Hello, Mr. Saggers. Oh, how do you do, sir? How do you do? Uh, Libby, Libby, Mr. Branch is here. Uh, would you excuse me, sir? Thank you. Hello, Libby. How do you do? Loved your show. Oh, so yeah. good. People want to meet you. Thank you. Here, here, Charles! Do you want to meet us? Oh, Come on, here you are. Miss Liberty, Mr. Saggers, Lady Selina. How do you do? Miss Fording Bridge. How do you do? How do you do, Miss Madam, uh, Miss uh, Sir Honoured Arshaw? <laughs> Would you excuse me? I uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, lady. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That's a long uh, You've been here long enough. All right, Charles, just finish in with the constable. You want me to run you in? Look here. That's all right, sir. We know them. Now, how about you? No, it's entirely my fault, Constable. Oh, we can't allow obstruction, sir. Do they always push him around like that? But after all, Della's right. Asking's only an excuse for begging. Cut it out, boys. They don't give you a chance. Make it slippy. Go to it, boys, but look out. He's an awkward sound, said the night. We'll take a chance. Run along. I'm awfully sorry about that. You go on inside. You got the money and you got the right. Oh, Libby. You heard him move us on? Look, I'm getting a party tonight. I want you to come and dance for us. What? Do you do a fine friend to mock Thank you for nothing. Don't miss it, just snob. I'm asking you to do a professional entertainment. Professional? Oh. Come on, old lady. Coming. We'll be there. Bye. What do you think of that? Never mind, already. We made a fine. All close on 12 bob. Come on. We're all right. Happy days, happy days. But taking it by and large, I wouldn't ask for better support from a better company. As for Libby, we all know the new turn was her idea. I remodelled it, of course. Now the last word has to lie with the producer, my girl. Well, here's to basking, past, present and future. Gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, gentlemen. Shall I tell you something? You may. In ten years from today, there won't be a busker on the street. What do you mean? Just because you took twelve bob, you think everything's lovely. Well, it's not, see? What do you suppose it means, this everlasting moving you on, and bylaws, and charged with obstruction if you so much as sneeze? I tell you, they're trying to get us off the streets altogether. Yeah, I'd like to see them. You will have your wish. Nobody wants us, really. They laugh at us. You hold your noise. She's right. What are you talking about? My family sold flowers in the old streets of London to the old Queen's coronation. But the handsomes have gone, and the horses have gone. And soon, now, we'll have to go. Well, tonight's cured me. You heard old Maud and you heard that cat in Minx. 
An excuse for begging, she said, and she was right. I'm off. Coming? I'm the manager. You're a member of my troop. Sit down. Good night, all. Insubordination. I see. Yes, madam? Mr. Prentice asked me. What name, madam? Uh, Liberty. Oh, yes, he's expecting you. Will you come in, please? No, right in fact, please. May I take your things? And your, uh, hat? Um, Thank you. This way, please. <laughs> Miss Liberty. Oh, here you are at last. I'm so glad. Didn't you bring Mr. Saggers? No. No. He stopped behind to make a speech. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, come and meet everybody. Nice. Wait until they're finished. Come and have a drink. Hello, Mark. Hello, Charlie. Please, hadn't you? How did the new turn go? Didn't Libby tell you? No. I'm going to bed. Good night. She ain't home yet. No. Oh, well, of course. It's early yet. She'll be in later. You and Libby didn't have words, did you, Charlie? No, no, no. She told me she might not be in yet a while. She couldn't say. What is it? Don't tell us you never tasted champagne before. I do tell you I never tasted champagne before. Try some of my cooking, Mr. Buddy. Oh. Much obliged. Phew. Sausages in me. I don't get it. I don't get any of you. You will. Go to bed, my dear. After all, it's my job to wait up for her. And why is it your job, Charlie? Why? Well, I mean, she has to have some man to look after her, hasn't she? Of course she has. Some young fellow of her own age will take her about to dances and parties and things. Why shouldn't I sit up for her? Oh, you know well enough, ma, I'm fair wrapped up in the kid. That's why. A man of forty ought to have more sense. I ain't forty. I'm thirty-nine. Anybody looking after you, Miss Liberty? He is. He is. Oh. Uh, I want it. I'm sure you do. You're going to be removed from temptation, Libby. No, but the party's hardly begun. There are plenty of parties later on. You come and see me and I'll fix you up. Why should I come and see you? I get a big theatrical agent. Oh, I come tomorrow. What time?
afraid I can't ask you in. Oh. Good night and congratulations. For what? Success story. Chapter one. So what? Charles. Where have you been? <laughs> Dancing. Quiet. They'll hear you. They, they. You don't get out of it like that, you don't. What do you mean by it? stopping up till all hours, keeping Ma up and me up? Who asked you to sit up? I never asked you to sit up. A light woman. That's what you're turning into. But I won't have it, see? Not if I have to lock you in. Now shut up. What's up? What's up? We got to have a talk. I'll talk to you in the morning. It is morning. Look here, I'll see. You're drunk. I ain't drunk. And I'll clear out when I know you've been. I've only been with Mr. Prentice. I'm sorry you sat up. Really, I am. But he asked me to his party and I thought, well, I'd... Yes, you try another. What do you mean? Party me I. Party a two. You say that to me again, I'll smack your face. Libby, are you telling me the truth? Why, old Charles, of course. I'm sorry. But you didn't ought to have gone off like that, Libby. All that stuff you talked to, and then walking out on me. I mean, it's more than flesh and blood can stand. But I've been out late before. Well, it's the last time. We've got to have a totally new arrangement. You in this room, and me up there. Well, that ain't sense. You know, I lay awake at night. It all goes round in my mind. The new turn and you, and you and the new turn. Charles, there ain't going to be any more new turns. I'm going on the stage. The agent of Mr. Prentice is fixing it all up. I told you I'd get there, I told you. What happens to me and Arthur and Gentry? You hadn't thought of that, had you? Well, why should you? Look here, Charles. You always said I could act. Now, don't stand in my way now I see the chance of a real job. After all, busking's only fooling. Are you telling me I spend my life making a fool of myself? Well, well, in a way. You see, old lad, if we was any good, we'd be in the theatres, not outside them cadging for coppers. Better than pinching them. You throw that up at me. How long have I been working with you? Ever known me cheat you once since? How can I be sure? Get out. Get out. I won't get out. Get out. I have a right to be hurt. Get out. Listen, you. Yeah. I'm telling you to stand I up and listen. More. I can't do anyone to listen to I'll tell you I didn't mean it. I won't have you going away. You stay here. Yeah. Stop it, you little fool. I wasn't hurting you. Listen, will you? I want to marry you. 
Will you get that? What? That's it. Mary, you see. Have you gone out of your mind? I mean, I mean, you'd better look in the frying pan, hadn't you? Ma! 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 He comes barging into my room, the things he says. I think he must be loony. Charles, you ought to come along with us. That's it, Charlie. Come and have a good rest. Now we have got it clear. First I'm drunk, then I'm loony, then I'm told to lay down an ash, because it seems I'm only a beggar. So it don't really count what I say or do. Partnership's off, Ginger. That goes for you too, Arthur. Off, smashed, finished, washed up. We can all starve, and who cares? Our leading lady's got a new job. So I'll get a new job outside Baskin. You think I can't do a man's day? I'll show you. I'm a man, I am. Though some of you think it funny. I have to say so. I think it funny myself. I'm fed up with the humour of it. Dear old Charles. Good old Charles. Yes, he's good enough to fetch and carry. Good enough to feed the cat when the rest of you can't spare the time. But when it comes to give and take work and play men and women, then it's good morning to your Charles. Keep on your own side of the street, the gutter side. All right. But it's I who's saying good morning. See? Good morning! Good morning to you all! Frightfully, awfully bad. Oh, I can't get it. It doesn't work. Still a great title. Oh, shut up. Have you got any constructive criticism to give? Give it. If not, clear out. That's right, darling. You tell them where they get off. You all sit around and you fuss him and you worry him. How do you expect him to work, no, darling? No. Let's hear what you've got. And hurry, because Duquesne will be here in a minute. I'm not ready for Duquesne. Oh, now he'll have me here, then. All right, darling. <laughs> but I can't dance to that. You want something like... Who is he? Oh, excuse me, Dan Constantine. But he's good. I ought to know. I used to dance with the man who played the mouth over. Do you remember that? Tune? I used to dance. Where did it go? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. Yes, ever since my early childhood, I had this desire to express myself. When Mr. Prentice discovered me, it was like a fairy tale. Thank you, Mario. Of course, I owe everything to Mr. Prentice and to Mr. Hackett. And, of course, to our backer, Mr. Tempany. T-E-M-P-E-R-L-E-Y. He's been wonderful. Wonderful. And how do you like playing with Mr. Ducetti? Oh, he's wonderful. Wonderful. Be quiet. doesn't occur to you that I've got nerves, and I might like my dressing room to myself. Oh, I didn't mean you. I'm so glad you came. Thank you so much. I do hope you enjoy the show. Hold thumbs for me. We will. Just say she's wonderful, boys. Good luck, Faith. Thank you, Clever, don't you? Gave me all worked up my first night. Good thing you were flat enough at rehearsals. Catch me going all after rehearsals. Just because you want to hear her own song sung over, over, and over again. It's a trouble. I never can. Not even in the middle of the stalls. Oh. Well, it might interest you to know that I've had Jack Templey, the back of the gallery, for the last nine rehearsals, and he said... That... You're wonderful. Well, anyway, where would the show be without Templey? Trouble with you is you've got no sense of gratitude. Well. Good luck, Lizzie. Yeah. If you want to know the one person in this show who is wonderful. Oh, darling. Water now, please. Oh, that's you. Oh. Well, God bless. Bye-bye. Come on, Muriel, quick. It's all right, dearie. You've got a full 20 minutes before your entrance. Oh, by the way, uh, these are from me. Oh, it's hot in here. Open the window, dear. Mind your voice, dearie. I'm Same as the go bar, same as last time. Go home. How oh, pity, do go home. Look here, go home or I'll cut you to them. Hey, look, look, there's half a seat. Look, there's half a seat. Go on. Oh, I can't do that. I'm holding you. I'm holding you fast. That's an hour. Come on, dear. How much time we got? Very well, please. Oh, come on, dear. Hurry. Thanks. That's right now. Come on. Careful, darling. Okay. Oh, Charlie, you were marvellous. Schwartz finds in the third row. Oh, no. He's pleased about it. You pleased with me? I told you, uh, wonderful. Wonderful. She doesn't know how wonderful she was. The light me in front. You're crazy about it. Do you like me? Like? I don't you know. I love my present. Oh, darling, I'm so glad. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm nearly as beautiful as you are. And the next, please.
trying to talk to her. Say all that insult. I ain't done a thing. I'll have you up for assault. Oh, <laughs> now then, what's all this? Drunk and assault, Sergeant. It's a bare face lie. We'll see about that. Come on. Yes, Marjorie, right. come again tomorrow. Please, yes, Marjorie. Good boy. Success, wasn't it? Mm, who cares? Success makes a difference. If you let success make a difference to you, you're not the success. Oh. Shall we take it off or shall we let her ring? Let who ring? Oh, success. Hello? Oh, hello, Jack. Temple. I'm not here. I'm not here. What? Uh, Lily? No, I took her home. Well, she didn't want to break the party up, so we slipped away quietly. No, I wouldn't ring her. She's, uh... She's pretty tired. Oh, he's got all the notices. Has he? What was try, but she usually switches her phone down. Ask him what the time is. Did up. you hear me the time? Shut up. What? Jack? Yes, that sounds very satisfactory. He said they're all wonderful. But Hollywood already? I said it's a bit quick. Give it to me. Give it I'll to me. ring you later. You? Read the little fool. Do you want Templar to know you're here? Oh, what do I care about Templar if it's Hollywood? Kick away, Templar. Kick away, all of us. Can't you tell me what he said? Schwarzbein wants you for Hollywood. <sighs> I knew he would. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you're superior, aren't you? Laughing at me. I'm laughing at both of us. I suppose you're sorry I've got a success. Oughtn't I to be if it takes you to Hollywood? Well, if you come too. Oh, oh, I'm to come too. But of course, we get married and then. I'm not going to marry you, Libby. Oh, aren't you? Can you give me one reason why I should? Because you're in love with me. I'm in love with you, but. But what? I don't propose to be the next Charles. Charles? What on earth put him into your head? Poor old child. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by barging, if I may say so, into a fellow's bedroom. Where is Charles? I don't know how you have the nerve to ask me. What do you mean, nerve? Don't you know what nerve is? Then I'll tell you. Nerve's what you've done to Charles. First, you pinch his pitch. Then when he turns soft and lets you come along with us, like as if you was a stray cat, and cat's the word for you, then what? Then you pinch his ideas. Then you get between him and his friends, then off you go without a word except a couple of picture postcards to Ma from Scarborough. Look here. I don't need to. I took your measure, miss, the first time I seen you. Anything more to say? Well, sir, not to trouble you with my life history. I was born in a circus, but I preferred the classics. I'm a professional reciter, see? Would you like to hear me? What will you have? Hamlet, Green Eye, if... If you can keep your heads when all about you are losing theirs, 
and blaming it on you. That's enough. Would that smart bona fides, your worship. Is anything known about him? Well, sir. Well, sir, there is no denying it. Convictions have mounted up something of 24, all told. Only 19, your worship. Only 19? Oh, I see. You're not reckoning the admonished, sir. <laughs> right. Do any explanation to give as to why you were hanging about the theatre, Drunk? Well, sir, why not? I mean, there she was inside, and there I was outside. Of course, I knew she had it in her from the start for all her swing. So I came back at the end just to watch her. And watching her, I realised for the first time I'd lost my joy de vivre. So I hit out. I'm sorry I hit you. It done me good at the time. Mm. You'll have to go to prison for four months. Four months? I'm giving you four months partly to let you have the chance of thinking things over. Try and do better when you come out. Do better? I will. I'm going for a new job altogether. Can't you see where you're going? Oh, I say I'm off the side. My fault, really. Thanks very much, sir. Thank you. Oh, oh. Thank you. More match, please. Steady, old man. This way. Thank you. Give you a minute, madam. Bye, match lady. Stoth. Oh, I say, Libby. What a get out. What are you? Charles, how dare you? Your taxi, madam. Take care, my man, take care. Can't you see the poor fellow's blind? Blind my foot. In you get your ditty. You there with the Martin's leg. I'm ashamed of it, that's what I am. I leave behind me a respectable person. What do I find? I built her whining her chest. I didn't. It wasn't. Well, today was the first time. That's your story. You're going to stop him. Come on, dear. I'll tell you I did it for a lark. I only came out last week. Out of what hospital? Clink. Prison. You? Oh, so you couldn't even fool the police, eh? You haven't got it right. I have got it right? Yeah, I slave and told to do you credit, and what sort of credit do you do me? Here. Here. You look at yourself in, in a... frying pan. I ain't forgot. Tom, you did then. Now look at yourself in a proper glass. Here. You're a jailbird. You ain't shaved for a week. You've been old enough that public and you've been drinking. You didn't leave me much else to do, did you? You proved to me I was a washout. <gasps> oh, how can you tell such wicked lies? You did, Libby. Charles, dear. Oh, Charles, what have you got in your fat head? I never said it and I never thought it. You did, Libby. Oh, well, and if I did, it was because I lost my temper and I didn't get from you. Muriel, I'm a stopping. Come on. Just going to pay you back in your own coin, you leave poor old Arthur and poor old gentry stranded. Turn your back on the over and the cat and respectability, all to satisfy your wicked pride. And as for me, I might have dropped back into the gutter for all you cared. Oh, never thought what I'd be worried, did you? I tell you, when I see you at your play acting with your poor silly old face... Oh, there I go, spotting me makeup, and I've got her ears in a few minutes. Oh, Joe, Joe, you paid me out. Now ease up. Come back to your own job and be Charles again. Libby, could I have a small drink? Oh, how long has this been going on? How long's what been going on? These small drinks are yours. Don't know. Well, it's got to stop, see? You can have this one, but no more. Charles! Charlie! Charlie, turn around and talk to me. Charlie. There's a couple of small parts going in the new show. If you can pay a blind man good enough to fool me for half a second. You own it, do you? Yeah, yeah. What about coming down to rehearsal and showing them all what you can do, eh? Eh? Oh. Eh? Oh, I uh, ain't anything I could do. 
not suitable. Oh, of course there is. Here, here, what about Green Eye? I'm off Green Eye. What about it, Charles? Dear old Charlie, what about it? Uh, well, uh, I haven't done it for a long time. Why, it's easy, I know it. If you can keep your eggs, when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If easy, easy, that ain't the way to do it, my gal. You, you've got to get him in the mood from the first word C. You want to tack. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you. Go have a pop, see I walk out. That's all right, darling, we'll fix if it. If you can wait, but not be tired by waiting or being lied about. Don't deal in lies or being hated. Don't give way to hating and yet don't look too good, nor talk too wise. <laughs> Order, please. If you can dream and not make dreams, your master. If you can think and not make thoughts, your aim. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same. If you it's can bear bad, to hear the truth you've light. spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to. Broken. Um, oh, and stoop. Build them up with worn out tools. If if you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it at one turn of pitch and toss, Tommy, bring me a cup of coffee. They're going to be quiet. I won't have them interrupted. Quiet back there. Well, they know about anything anyway. Go on, Charles. Go on. And lose. And lose. And start again. What? And start again. And start again, Charlie. And start again. It's your beginnings. And never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve their turn. Long after we are gone, and so hold on. And there's nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. John. Well, it isn't any good, darling. You can't make an actor out of me. Oh, I've been outside too long. Why, wow, I'm a basker, see? It's all right. Don't worry about me. I'm all right. Charlie! Charlie! Here, Charlie! Aren't you? You always was. Now stop hugging me. Well, now you've got to behave, you know.
Occasions by Sir John Martin Harvest, Mr. John Gilgood, and myself. <laughs> 